Hello, Grace Lutz. This is Jan reporting from Superboot, and I'm here with Toby. <laughs> Hello, Toby. And he is um, the guy behind Tubutech and uh, the wonderful uh, Microtune uh, module. Uh, I'll hand him the mic because he has a lot to uh, explain about um, new functions. Um, take it away, Toby. Okay, thank you. So, yeah, I would like to show you our module, the Tubutech Microtune. It's a microtonal quantizer MIDI interface, which means MIDI to CV, but also CV to MIDI. And you can load scales from NSC cards. There are currently about 3,000 scales on the card. But you can also create your own, upload your own. There's a built-in scale editor. So for every note, I can change the pitch as sense or as interval, name or number. So for example, now if they I set this interval to undecimal augmented fourth or double diminished fifth and it will just take that and uh, output that with very high precision. If your VCO isn't that precise, no problem. There are, is a VCO calibration mode in there that will even have, like if your VCO is not perfectly linear over a couple of ta octaves, it will take care of that. And there's a built-in tuner, so if you have your setup and you start everything up, you can easily tune your system to your requirements and then start from there. Um, there's a built-in MIDI router, so you can route between the DIN MIDI, the USB MIDI and the MIDI generated by the module as well as the uh, module of course, receives MIDI and you can route between that as well. And a lot more functions, I can't really go into detail. It can output clock, there's glide, there's a lot of stuff. Just have a look at the website. And there's uh, one feature that's not in the current firmware yet, but will be very soon. I would like to show you that. It's an automatic uh, tuning system. And um, so I will just turn on the sound. So this is a 430 hertz tone. It's an oscillator tuned to 430 hertz. And now imagine your oscillator drifts a little bit. Yeah, OK. Now imagine that your oscillator drifts, and I will simulate that by turning the pitch knob, and it will correct that immediately and will always be the right pitch. Of course I can still play, no problem, but it will always be at the right pitch. So something like a perfect fifth, for example, is now really a possibility with a Eurorack system. No problems there. Uh, how about the, the expander? Oh yes, of course. So currently we have two channels, that means two channels of quantizer, MIDI interface and so on. And there's an upcoming expander with two channels on 2HP and you can chain up to three expanders for a total of eight channels. So you can have a polyphonic MIDI interface with eight channels for example, or an eight channel quantizer or a mix of both, whatever you like. I have a question. Yes. Um, Uh, not yet, but that's also an upcoming feature, that's right, yeah. So, in the future, you can have 8 or 16 channels, all with different tunings? Yeah, all with different scales and tunings, yeah, that's correct. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and maybe while you're here, I can show you some other new prototypes. There's this little case, it's 18 HP, and the idea is if you have a couple of modules, maybe one, two modules, and you think, hey, that would be a great standalone product, you just put them in this case, it's very easy to supply with power, and you have a standalone product. Um, that could be, for example, for a MIDI interface like this, but everything else works as well. And we have a precision adder and multiple with three adder inputs which are normalized to the um, multiple outputs. There's very low gain and offset error, so pitch, uh, the, uh, pitch CV is not a problem with that at all. Okay, it's an active... Uh, it's an active, yeah, yeah active yeah. adder and multiple, okay. of course, yes. Cool. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. All right.